Kay Ferris, a third grade teacher at Pemberton Elementary School. Today I'm with my class and a fifth grade class, Ms. Scott's class. Um, we do a lot of STEM activities together and today we're doing a STEM activity um, using the scientific method and the fifth and third graders are going to work together to build um, Kiva Plank Towers. And the goal of this is for everybody to work through the um, scientific method and try to build the tallest tower they possibly can in 30 minutes. And so as you see the, the children working, um, there's a fifth grader that's going to lead the discussion with the um, scientific method. And then we're going to move right into the building. Okay. So fifth graders, you guys start the conversation. You have about five or ten minutes to fill in the paper, and then I'll let you know when you can start to build. Go. You know how you play Jenga? Yeah. I would do like three by three. Yeah. That's well, then we're gonna wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if... So, you would have a penny? Um, uh, so, four. Oh, should we say on the bottom? If we have support on the bottom? Yeah. So, Ms. Scott, so this is where you put down what your care is about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I think, I think, like, um, like, um, how we can make the tower. What do you mean, how we can make the tower? Like, like maybe we can do it one way. Okay. And then do yeah, like the way we do it in a rich Okay. And how long it would take? That would make it pretty tall. It would have 30 minutes to do it. I might finish it before 30 minutes. Yeah. I might finish it exactly 30 minutes. The points. Okay. So another point, though, is, yeah, you have 30 minutes. If you build one and it falls over and you don't think it was very tall, what are you going to do? Build it a different way. Maybe this time the less tall, but more. Maybe we could make it, like, maybe we could use most of our blocks to make, to make sure it's stable. Okay. So if it does fall the first time, you cannot, you know, yeah. remember, you have 30 minutes. If it falls, you can... You build it. Yeah. And then do it, try it a different way. Exactly. Good. Okay, how about this? What else do you guys think is constant that everybody has the same? You have the surface, you have the amount of blocks. What else do you have? Uh, That's all the same. Paper. Is that helping you build? No. It's planning to hmm? build. Well, Everybody is planning, but when they're talking about this, this is stuff you're using for your experiment. So is there anything else that's constant that everybody has? I have nothing. What do you think? Could the blocks themselves be constant? Huh? Oh, yes. We had the box themselves, and there's people in the group. So I think some groups have different amount of people. Yeah. So you couldn't say the group size is the same. The shape and size of the box. Yeah. What is that? Okay, let me ask you something. I'm just looking at this. Um, you have one fifth grader, one third grader. At, like, at least one. At least one. Now, but are the um, group sizes all the same? So can we really say that's part of the constant? I understand what you're saying, but... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, flat tire. Okay, you're going to have about five more minutes to work on the planning part before I say the 30 minutes of building starts. Does everybody understand? Okay. Keep going. If it was tall, it would be skinny. It would be very skinny and tall, but it would just not Yeah, so that's kind of bad. So if we did a a, okay, like a, um, a wide one, we would just have a teeny itty bitty one. So this is confusing. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Uh, we we make the bottom big in the top. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, should we should do weather because like everyone, no one has like more wind or stuff. Yeah. Okay, boys and girls, your 30 minutes of building starts now. We will measure at the end of 30 minutes. We could put like, um, just to make it like more sturdy, we could put like here. And then there. Um, I think we should make it like out a little bit more. Should we make it any taller? Oh yeah, we should see if we can make it any taller. <laughs> okay, so then we'll start. Okay, so put one more on there. So I'm going to ask a question. Um, what's the object, what's the goal of this? To make it about this guy. Okay, what's the goal of the whole uh, experiment? To, to make it not fall. To, to make going, it really high. To build the tallest tower. If you use all of these planks on the base, are you going to be able to build a tall tower? So think about that. That's good. That's good. That's a steady piece. Straighten it out before we build it. Let's be perfect out. Oh, it's working. We have one more left. Height over. Like, like being sturdy or something. And we're also building two towers, so if one falls, then the other one will be okay. like half done. Why is this falling? This one is falling. Oh, oh come on. I tried my best. So if we do this, it It'll makes make it, it taller. Like something like yeah. that, but it so will. what are you sacrificing by making it taller? So we're sacrificing just a little bit. This of this portion falling off. Okay, so but, it's not as stable. Yeah, up here it's not as stable, but down here we're hoping that if this falls over, it won't like make a big. It, it, not all of it. That base will oh, stay yeah. put. Okay. Because this is all like hard. This is like more. Yeah. Flimsy. Okay. And he has a good hand, so I'm going to let him do this. This was his idea, so. And that's it. It's still, like, not as tall. What are we going to do now? Uh, we, need, we need to straighten it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't. Okay, 
Okay, flat tire. Okay, you guys, you have 23 minutes left of building. So you've tried a tower. You might want to look at how you're using the planks, what side you're using, that kind of thing. Because remember, the goal is you want to build the tallest tower. Okay? So you have over 20 minutes left. Oh, it's I'll just play. Okay, can we make this call? I'll just hand you bricks. You stack it. Here. Why? Why don't you hand it? I don't want to knock it over. I'm not going to knock it over. I'm not going to do it. I need a team effort. Look at how big. I have to be on my knees. And look, it's almost bigger. I think it's is bigger than our last one already. Yeah, it is. It's way bigger. It was like up to here. You might, might want to move up. Double. Look, it's already bigger than you. Wow, well, it's bigger than me already. So can you reach that when we can? We might have to go on our knees. recorded the measurement try to make it taller but there's one thing you need to remember you're not going to be able to stand on the table 
to measure. So what's something you can do to give yourself more space? Think about that. I'm a junior star. Wait, who should measure toys? A new record. Let's hope it's a new about 120. Yeah. If that one falls, these are all these are all oh, yeah, those Measure it. The best is a picture. My heart. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to win. We shouldn't. What do you think? I think it's either 20 or 19. Okay, let's go with 120. I hope you've enjoyed our lesson and seeing the fifth graders and the third graders work together on this STEM activity.